Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is how to guide or invite a man into tantric sex. These tips are for uh, straight couples, but they can be applied in similar ways to gay couples, okay? So, let's take the example. You are a woman and uh, you have a lover and you would like to invite this man into tantric sex. Here are the things that you must know about seducing a man into engaging into these techniques and practices. So, here are a couple of things that I feel are very powerful and are geared towards how you communicate specifically with men. The first concept or idea to integrate is to be gentle, be kind. Anything that feels like sexual pressure, demand, emotional threat, emotional instability is going to create a space of unsafety and not give the space for this man to relax. You want to him to come into this tantric space, you have to make sure that he feels safe. He's not going to play if he feels threatened. So this means that when you're communicating with the man, you need to remove any form of emotional load or pressure that you might have in your communication style. Clean your communication. Clean the way you are relating to that person so that there is no emotional charge behind your words. That's very important. It creates a sense of energetic and emotional safety. The second tactic is practice being the giver. I have examples in my own life and in my friends' lives uh, clients, people have been coaching where suddenly a woman in their lives takes control of a sex session. So a sex session is a sex episode, it can be anything, it can be having a romantic time somewhere in nature or it can be having a, a one night stand or it can be having uh, an ongoing relationship with, uh, with a lover. It's a moment where you are going to engage with sexual energy. So what happens when a woman takes control and start directing her energy in very clear ways. It doesn't need to be precisely you know, aggressive in any way. It's soft. We are talking about something where the, the woman is simply going to guide the man into an experience. This is one of the most powerful uh, opening experiences that a man can have. So here is how it works. If you are if you're in the bedroom, you can tell, say to the man, I would like you to relax and just allow me to serve you tonight. I will be the giver, you are the receiver, I want you to experience my touch, my kisses, I want to see how your body and your mind are going to respond to the gifts that I'm about to give you. So you can use these exact words or something similar and then you get them to relax and totally surrender to what you have to give them. So having the power to give a man an experience like this one will radically change their lives. It can be such a powerful healing, sexual activating experience that can totally change the perspective on how they relate to you in the future and it's going to invite them into the tantric sex space. Another aspect of inviting a man into tantric sex is to uh, give them an intensity that they can take. Uh, what it means is when you're engaging into sex, it's important to find ways of matching each other's energy level. So if you are an extremely passionate woman and you want to head very fast into intercourse, kissing, uh, playing full on with tantric sex energy, uh, sometimes it's going to be too intense for your partner or your lover. So try to feel into 
where they are at. Is this an intensity they can take or is, do you need to slow down? And if you need to slow down, enter into a pace which is much gentler and is going to allow them to take small doses of your sexual energy rather than a massive input all at once. Another tip is to understand a man's body and know exactly how to give them pleasure. You want to invite him into, into the tantric sex space, you must understand how his body functions. What are the ways to please him, to give him pleasure? What kind of touch, what kind of intensity, what kind of vibration, what kind of posture? All these things are very important and the best way to do that is to explore, experiment, to ask for feedback, uh, you know, practicing what we call the feedback minute, the day after, what is it that you liked? What is it that was, well, what was the peak? Were there any moments that were a bit, you know, uneasy or uncomfortable for you? Uh, you know, you can really check with uh, your lover and uh, experiment with that. Another way to invite a man into a tantric sex space is to help them with ejaculation mastery. So very often what will happen when two lovers are not really synchronized on that level, um, the woman might go a little bit too fast, too much sexual intensity, the man cannot uh, retain his semen, eventually he ejaculates and that's the end of the tantric sex session which is not a very positive experience very often because you enter into the after sex effect, you feel emotionally vulnerable, energetically depleted. So what you want is to practice this idea of ejaculation mastery and guide your man into being able to, to, uh, to, um, to preserve his semen rather than, than losing it through ejaculation. So the way to do that is to be able to slow down and be able to check with him where he's at in terms of sexual stimulation. Very often you can quantify uh, how intense or how, how sexually stimulated the man is. You could almost ask the person as well to check the level of intensity. So um, if a man reaches 90% stimulation or intensity, that's when he reaches the point of no return and eventually is going to, to ejaculate 90, 95% and then, uh, you know, ejaculation comes. So what you want is to keep the man within the 70 to 90% intensity range so that there is a high degree of sexual stimulation, but not too much. So if you notice that you are, you start really getting really in passionate sex, with uh, very fast movements and penetration and so on, lots of stimulation, then try to see what happens if you slow down and what is the level of intensity because the moment uh, your partner ejaculates, that's the end of the, the tantric sex experience very often and uh, what you want is to find ways of extending that space rather than, than uh, losing all the energy and all the intensity all at once through, uh, through an orgasmic peak experience. Another tip to invite men into tantric space, tantric sex space, is to give them precisely space. Um, don't be forceful, don't be too intense. Uh, very often after an experience, you know, that might be deep and profound, uh, you spend a couple of hours together, give each other like two, three days to, to integrate that experience. You don't need to come up again with uh, a high degree of intensity. Give them space to integrate the experience. That's another tip which is very, very important in, uh, in that flow. Yeah, as a woman, you know, if you are a woman and watching this, you can really be uh, a coach, a guide, an inspiration for a man's experience. And, uh, you know, I will record another video which is the other way around. Men, how to serve a woman or how to invite a woman into a tantric sex uh, space. Understanding each other's dynamics and really being here uh, to, to honor uh, each other's um, intentions and, and, and beauty and bliss and experience is really one of the powerful things that we can do to, to serve each other uh, when, we are, when we are lovers. So for women, this one is for you. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope you apply it soon with, with your lover. Have fun.